It's a TI-10 rematch. Looking pretty exciting. Setsu for sure, so maybe Setsu can do a good job here. Uh, maybe he gets hired by LGD after if this bear does a good enough job. But on the opposite side, you've of course got Team Spirited right now. Looking like it's gonna be Ame in so much trouble. First blood going the way of Team Spirit. If SinQ and Faith Beyond are not too careful, they can definitely get easily overwhelmed by that. Looking at their region real quick. They did bring a fair amount of tangos into the lane and probably some healing self laid on as well. Ame is dead again. Yeah, Ame in trouble and gone. No if bear. Another kill and he, yeah, he's going to be without the bear for 75 seconds in this lane. How is Ame no. looking? 7 CS only. Yeah, Ame <laughs> not exactly doing great. They've got the Arctic Burn onto the Skywrath Mage. Maposhka running it's away. Slow. Faith Beyond, he does have that thunderclap available with these right clicks going in. Maposhka is low, but now the turnaround's on his in queue. They've got Yatoro ready to go, but they just don't have the damage. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Mira goes down to Y. So finally on the board here for LGD, and they're still looking over at Maposhka. It's in who gets the kill with a splinter blast. And across the map, they even the score. It's still a 1k lead for Team Spirit. Nukas are the ones that will come out ahead, which in this case, on Team Spirit. So you have to be super, super careful. Maposhka's ready with mangoes. He's got the mana regen. Oh, Faith Beyond! He's dead. Oh, dear. Maposhka's got him. And ZQ might just be next on the list. He's trying to get a kill here onto the Luna. The right-click damage isn't going to be enough. And it's a double kill for Maposhka. And he is just charging. And they feel pretty great right now. 2k lead. Look at this. Damage dealt for the Skywrath is quite high. And of course, 5K. well, now... He's going to be back full health, full mana once he respawns. He dealt 1,000 damage per minute, actually. That is kind of insane. You think about Let's it. Let's see. Going to Tokyo, yeah, trouble. the Cinder Brew as well as the Thunderclap. Face beyond able to get at least one back in Toronto. Tokyo goes down over mid. Is nothing to say is there with the help of Zinku to finish off this Ember. So it's a, a battle of back and forth so far. Well, why he's back into the grave and collapse. He's got himself another kill. He's on a killing spree. Let's be careful with the bear. He's going to lose the bear again. Bear. It looks it like it's move. just going to fall. It's slowed down enough. They've got Mira up with it. They'll dispose Not of the bear, it. and it's life. 300 gold going to this Marcy. It's very interesting to see Ama's skill, but usually we just skill one level in a Savage Roar, so you can help each other. Like, the bear can help you, and you can help the bear. But chose to go for the greedy skill, but so far it's not paying off Yatoro again. Yeah, he'll throw out the Lucent Beam. They've got the silence from that Ancient Seal on the Skywrath Mage, but burning with the Seeker, they've got the Thunderclap, and they will take him out with the help of nothing to say. They can put the pressure on the Tier 1 tower, and what they want to do is take it potentially and close down this map. A remnant away and nothing to say will survive, leaving them without words to fill in the gaps here for, for Team Spirit. Ami um, again, he has the true form, though. Yeah, there's no way he can initiate on that. Collapse with that kill on his in queue. Nothing to say. Getting low. Swashbuckles. Rolling thunder. He'll try to get on him, but the slight is in. Toronto Tokyo clears out the Pangolier. And why is next? Why hiding behind hold. the trees? But that's not going to work. He's got the silence, but the seal is in. And they'll put an expiration date on the life of this enchantress. Still, though, the speeding rebound up. and speeding up the Poshka, but not speeding him up enough. Vera might be dead too for can't since. can't go in and get that kill on a one, but he's looking for a second. One wow. shot away. Double kill for Faith Beyond. They've got Yatoro nearby. He doesn't have an Eclipse, but he does have a Lucent Beam to help. Here comes the bear. Ame hitting on a Toronto Tokyo. They're going to kill the, the creep, so the, ta the tower will be tanked by that creep. They wanted to dive the tower, and the way they were going to do so without taking aggro was healing that creep. and. Both of these teams at the beginning of this tournament were pretty passive, very farm-oriented. Now, the of each other. both of them are super aggressive. They realized how important lanes are, and they're playing it almost perfectly. Arctic Burn on Toronto, Tokyo. No remnant on him. He doesn't have a remnant now. Oh He's my god. Both by the Marcy and by LGD. Maposhka shows up with Collapse, but these heroes may have rotated a little bit too late. This is five mid. They've also popped the Unleash, and... For the basic the spell of course to get the, rid of the slows of himself but yeah the game is starting to sort of crumble for spirit they're like a 3k lead now back to 1k thinking about rolling thunder. thunder mira hit up into the air this should be an easy kill for the bear ame's got one but poshka's next on the list and they're checking it twice wow. and nothing to gold say lead. he'll clean up the second and it's 12 to 10 now in the favor of lgd and they've got themselves a little bit of a net worth lead 
does he have to do more, or is it just the rest of the team that, as you can tell by the net worth chart, is maybe failing him a little bit? The problem is with Viper, you can't really take the dangerous lanes at all. Yatro, oh my god, they're Yatro again. If they get this kill into the Luna, it, it's dead. gonna feel drastic. They'll go in, the Ancients trying to steal it, but, well, they can't do so. They've got Faith Beyond going in for more and dominating for this Brewmaster. Top lane, they have the ult coming in from Maposhka with the Searing Chains of Toronto, Tokyo. They'll take out Ame, so the carries get traded. <laughs> this game is really funny in, in terms of whenever somebody dies, Ooh, that ult, say. dies too. He's trying to roll, but there's it the disposal be with the Unleashed. They've got the ulti coming out from Collapse. Nothing to say, needs to be careful as a to Collapse Toronto, to be Tokyo, careful. Ember's coming in. Collapse getting low. Does he have the help from Toronto, Tokyo? No, he's focusing his attention on the Zinkyu at the moment. And now Collapse trying to walk away, but they've got the damage coming out from this Swashbuckle. They've got themselves one. They've got themselves two. Toronto, Tokyo doesn't have the damage to get this Winter Wyvern just yet. He'll swipe once again, but it's still not it. Yeah, and she'll keeping him alive as well. He wants it. He wants to go for somebody. He's staying close. Toronto, Tokyo, how long are you willing to stay? Speaking of farm, Yatoro, he's uh, taking the stacks in the triangle. They'll go for the Rolling Thunder, and nothing to say coming over. Collapse, he's on the run. He's got some help from Aposhka. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but they also have two other heroes here to try and help him out. They'll look over at this so Viper who will throw out the ult, but they've got so much damage to get the kill on the Collapse. They've got a mega kill streak here for Faith Beyond. That's Ro and Mira. They think uh, maybe we can't help out this Viper, and it's time to run. Three heroes moving up. Why? The leader. Oh, I mean, Poshka, he might just die again. Heal, so he should be fine, even wow, if we were to damage. get caught. But Poshka, though, he's not going to be. And ZinQ will have and credit Roshan. for another. Why in a good spot to break smoke if it were gonna, to go that way? But with this word and they see him, they know like they just don't have a chance to get into the pit. We'll see if they can find anything at the moment. Mind you, there's no bear right now, but Ooh, it's going to be tough because no. nothing to say is over to the side, but they've got themselves at the disposal as well as the Mystic Flare. They go into the Winter's Curse, but it's not enough to save, nothing to say. As this Enchantress is trying to run with the pig pole, but why goes down? Mira, he did his job. He got the kill. They've got the Searing Chains. It's out onto the bear, which is going to fall. So there's gold there for Yatoro and a good victory for Spirit that keeps this game close. And Looks like this Aegis is turning into a farming Aegis. It's going to expire in four seconds anyway. So he's looking to get a good curse on potentially. Potentially has that opportunity. The Rolling Thunder coming in. And they're going to rebound, try and jump, try and find an escape. The two supports on trouble. Arctic Burn and Toronto Tokyo, he's staying. Mira's here too. Searing Chains onto the bear. They'll look over Mira. Ooh, nothing to say. He's the one who's in trouble. Taking a lot of damage. The Lucid Beam. There's the kill. And they're going to go in for more. They've got the BKB Beam pop by Toronto Tokyo. They'll jump away with Mira. Up into the air. Cyclone to Izyatoro. The bear hitting away, but he's got the remnants to try and leave. Oh, nice curse. Winters curses in onto the Viper. It's locked down. Three of these heroes. Toronto Tokyo as well as Mira trying to run. They've got themselves to dispose onto the bear as well as the Mystic Flare. It's out on Ame. They get the kill to collapse. The Eclipse is dropped Luna down. The Strides aren't hurting enough. They've got the kill on Teatro. Faith Beyond with a double kill. And now they look over Toronto Tokyo. He's slowed up, stunned off, wow. killed off, triple kill. Faith Beyond is godlike. And LGD come out the victors on that one. Again, it's very hard to contest this, and you've almost got Brewmaster with both charges ready on the Primal Split. This is LGD's for the taking. There's not much you can do about it. You can't really fight it to the Curse or the Brewmaster They're trying. right now. They're gonna try. Toronto Tokyo comes in with it's a too already, Searing though. Chains. Mystic Flare is down. They've got the Enchantress, but they're not gonna get the Aegis. Roche is for the side of LGD. Toronto Tokyo tries to go in. They've got the Aegis on Aame. BKB all oh, the bashes! And now he's trying to run with the Remnant. The side of Fist again. Remnant, Curse as well. Winter's Curse. They've got the Control. Do they have the kill with the Rolling Thunder? They certainly do. Ame taking out the Ember, who is continuing to struggle. And LGD, they claim their prize in a plus one on the Ember. The pressure, the aura, the miasma coming from LGD as they continue to put it on and be across the river going after these heroes. And they have found Mira, but the blink away. Quick fingers for the Marcy. A Poshka nearby too. Rebound, some movement speed on the run. Fade Grenade is in. And they're going to go to the Primal Split. There's a remnant in the trees. Maybe if they go too deep, there's four spirits to deal with now, so that's not great. Maposhka certainly dead that's already, a gem and, and it'll be gem on the ground for them to pick up. Oh, Mira picked it up. Get? Oh, Mira got it. But he slowed up as well. Uh, now he's in trouble. Collapse trying to fight, trying to take of the bear, but that back to form is Faith Beyond. Nice Winter's curse. curse, now it locks up. Collapse. They still Look send the out these couriers, too. and mid tower looking like it's going to drop, and it falls. 
these two heroes that are left on Spirit of the Luna as well as the Ember are trying to farm wow, and have some semblance of a defense, but they have nothing so far, and they have lost their melee racks over mid. Melting. You lose one team point, the game is over at this point, initially. Silence again, loosen beam onto the bear. All seen on your screen. And they're gonna go. They're gonna tower, try and take this tower. There needs to be a response. You need to expect a response. The response is to get the bear. That's 300 gold for the Luna. They go into the primal split. They've got the swashbuckle. There's the disarm and the stun. It's out on the Luna. Disarmed again, thanks to the void bear that is out from Faith Beyond in the primal split. He's got the bear to go back to, so they're not too scared of really retreating on the side of LGD. They're gonna try and make a go up 16k. They're waiting just in case anybody goes out a little bit too far, strays too far from home. They'll jump in and then, well, immediately now take time. them out. And there, there they go. Four splits. Four That's split. the first They've one. got the play going tower forward down. to try and take the tower. It's already gone. Over to the side is Collapse. He's got to make something happen. He's throwing right clicks in onto Ami, but it's not doing any damage. The Collapse getting shredded. Well, it's the Rolling Thunder. They get the Gun of Air. They look for the Eclipse. But the damage, it's just not there. Toronto took here with the BKB. They've got themselves the Cold Embrace. It's out in a Y. It's mega. He's healing up. It's, it's certainly going to be the entire base that is gone. And what can you do if you're the side of Team Spirit? 34 minutes into the game, you're up against Mega Creeps, and you are fighting on your heels. For Yatoro, well, the Cat's fighting on all four heels. They're trying to make it happen, but they just can't. It's a split on the <laughs> There's the refresher, there's the split. And the Cyclone onto Yatoro. They can't even defend. LGD, <laughs> they're making them watch as they take their base. Spirit, they need to fight, but they can't. They're not allowed to. The Ancient is exposed. The throne is going to go down. LGD looking like they're going to get themselves game one. Mira drops again for they're, 75 they're all alive seconds. They're just losing. They just cannot defend. LGD will take game number one here over Team Spirit in this grand final BO3. It was so dominant from the side of LGD. 28 to 18. They win in 35 minutes. If Spirit can overrun them in that early game, maybe they have a chance in a middle late game, you know, but I'm not the biggest fan of Sven. I even thought about potentially like a fast vessel. Oh, why? You're in trouble. He's yeah, dead. this right click damage certainly hurts, and they're going to ping right away that they have the ward, but it's not going to matter. It's first blood for Collapse. So back to back games here for Team Spirit, in which they claim that first blood. And the lanes looking pretty solid at the moment. The only one who's really struggling is kind of the Ember. Unstable concoction. Oh, Ame, too, he's got to run. They've got the heal, but they don't have the health. It'll be a trade in which Y gets the kill. Not the worst thing in the world for him to get, but you do not want Ame dying. If you don't snowball continually, he kind of slows down and shuts up. Yeah. I mean, he didn't see last game, right? He was like a thousand that was ahead of everyone. Yep. Couldn't really translate into anything else. Yeah. Be a bit careful. Avalanche out. Mapushka, you're just dead. Hero. Mapushka, he's gone in Zinq. Just like that. With the tiny of Zinq, are able to secure that kill and even it up at two. Again, it feels like we're following the same storyline. Spirit gets a couple kills. They go back the other way for LGD. Shield crash trying to survive. It's a to say, but Slight of fist is there. Solo kills in mid lane should not happen. Nice play by Toronto Tokyo. Still though, the by Ame back again. And forth. Ame, shallow grave, but I don't think that's really gonna make it any less deep. He'll step and be six oh, yeah, foot under. Yeah, so this lane is really incredibly life. strong. Doesn't grab the dispose on the dazzle, so why is A okay? Yeah, slight miscommunication. Viper went back. Mira wanted to go in. Stormhammer, dual breath. Goodbye, me, so They've got three heroes here. With the help of nothing to say, they'll take out the Jakiro, and it's again LGD showing off that group up mentality. Because that was the same thing that nothing to say did in the last game, except he went top. Yeah. He came over, got a couple of kills, and his game started to boost out. And for Armin now, it's all jungling, jungling, jungling. Level 3 acid spray makes it really easy to do so. And he's going to be level 6 momentarily. So, a little bit of a skirmish in the mid lane, but. They want it. Oh. They've got the avalanche. Rolls he's stuck here. It's a position. Spot. Toss into another hit. Bounce wow. up into the air. And nothing to say with the help of the tiny. Is able to get a kill on the Toronto Tokyo. A little bit of revenge for this Pangolier. I've seen it so many times where people are like, yeah, I've a little bit of a lead on oh you. Why? Why? Here's a TP available, but... Yeah, shallow grave, too, as long as... 
now maybe TP, but it's probably too late. Shao Grave will wear off. He's got the heal, but it won't matter. Collapse now dominating as well. This Viper has four of the five kills for the side of Team Spirit. The question becomes, is it all on the Alchemist? And right now, that's really not the truth, right? We've yeah. seen Alchemist games where the other two cores get nothing. But the way with Faith Beyond please this Nature's Prophet, it's certainly possible that this team gets more around the map. That being said, nothing to say, he's in trouble. He is going to survive with a Shallow Grave for now. He'll try to TP away, and he'll be fine. Mira has some trouble, Mira though. Mira is the one going down with the Treants in front of him. But Mira turns it. They'll look over. They've got the rebound into these heroes. They get the kill out of Mira. They look over at Faith Beyond. They've got themselves the Ice Path on it, too. They take out Faith Beyond as well as why They'll look for Zinq. Dual Breath. The damage is out on a tiny, but not enough. Toronto, Tokyo, though, thinking about chasing and getting this plus one. And the slight just isn't the killing blow. Yeah, the top lane wasn't exactly easy or smooth sailing for him. Yeah. Now they're just diving to get the mid tower. Didn't need to open up the map ASAP. Uh, ZQ, he's in. Avalanche landing on a two. They've got the toss up into the air. They're looking for the rolling thunder. They've got... He, he ran oh, it back in. Back white. Toronto, Tokyo. That was a misclick. Oh. Oh, boy. I, I just thought he got out. I think. I think everyone thought, thought he got out. Yeah. So a lot of Alk being played. And there's the Hurricane Pike finish off for Collapse. That's pretty quick. A minute and a half quicker than the average as well. Looking to go in and have the Rolling Thunder. They'll go after Mira, but he'll rebound away. Slowed a lot, though. Mira on the run. Viper Strike through onto nothing to say. He's got to be careful, and so does Zinq. They've got the Storm Hammer, Avalanche on a four, as well as the Swashbuckle landing on these heroes. They've got the Sprout, they have the control. They look over Toronto, took you the rebound once again. Nothing to say he doesn't have the Rolling Thunder. He already went in with the Shield Crash, but he's got the save from Y with the Shallow Grave. Swashbuckle Ooh, getting careful. Toronto, Tokyo very low. They've got the Sprout with the Force Staff, which is actually the Hurricane Pike to get away. Unstable Concoction, the Storm Hammer out on Ame, but they've got the Disarm out of the Sven. They're looking maybe to get the Remnant back into the fight, but there's Faith Beyond behind them all. Goes into Toronto took yeah, the kill out of Mira. They've got the Ice Path on it too, but it's not going to matter. Yatoro is gone. But Mushka, he's only going to survive for a little bit longer as they are in on this Jakiro, and it's a triple kill for Ame. Worst case scenario. He just picked up his Radiance. They take a fight straight after. 4 0 trade. They're going to try and go. He's getting greedy. He does have Dazzle, though, over to the side. So with Y there, he should be fine. But now Y's the one spotted. So he'll probably just try to grave himself and run. But it does allow Ami to get out. Yeah, which is really the important part. Alchemist is fine. He now has his BKB. Now. And they bottled it on. Nothing to say. They'll pick up the Aegis on Ame, and he is continuing to roll here. 8,000 net worth lead for the side of LGD. He can TP into the fight a little bit later. Maposhka has been very greedy. He's been sitting here for a long time. And now he's dead. And now he is so dead. Yeah. The solid lines being this game, the checkered lines being the average for the patch, and that is such a split for Ame. You know, Yatro, he's he's ahead of the average. He's not having a horrible game, but when you get compared to the Alchemist, it's not going to look good. BKB and maybe BKB. I might have jinxed him. He goes into the BKB. He's on the run. He'll throw the Storm Hammer. Go to fight the God back. Strike, trying to fight back, going after Faith Beyond, doing the damage, and he'll get a kill out on the Nature's Prophet. He can't be out, though. But now they've got Y. They have ZQ. The supports will finish off the carry of Team Spirit. And it ends up being a trade that, yeah, you get a kill out of it, but it's probably not to value. Half a second, uh, very balanced and uh, very available to break through, of course. So, what did Ami just get there? He's got the basher, went the other way, thought he wanted the blink. Meanwhile, on Mira. The top of Mira, he is in trouble and he is gone to the tiny. RC may be strong in the anime, but at this moment right now in this game, not looking too strong, not looking comparable. It just runs out of 10 seconds. Maybe they can catch him off guard, but the tiny is already there. Yeah, Avalanche toss all the way back. They go to the BKB here. Got the Silica Concoction charging up. They'll lose the Aegis, but now Yatoro's in. He's trying Shredder to make something happen, but they've got the Bashes coming through on the spin. He's in so much trouble, but there's the Storm Hammer as well as the Ice Path. They get the kill to collapse. They'll look for the Rolling Thunder. They're trying to go the other way. They've got Maposhka locked up as well as the Avalanche coming out from Zinkyu. Remnant back. The Sprout's on two, but they get out of it. 
Nothing to say is still committing with the Rolling Thunder. He's into the base, but now trying to leave. He's been disposed while Maposhka drops. There's nothing to follow up the damage, though, or the lockdown from Team Spirit. They're going high ground again. They don't really have the greatest defense. All they have is a slide of fist every six seconds. But the buildings are going to fall so fast. They go in, they jump. They've got the avalanche toss again. And Mira looking like he'll fall once more. Dead for 35 seconds. LG Deer are just bending spirit to their will. Yeah. It's all LGD in this series thus far. And they are looking for a quick finish. A to again, he just wants to get these kills. The BKB's been popped. They've got the swipe, but he's looking for the remnant back. He's not looking to charge in. He's looking to retreat out. The Macro Pyres drop down as well as the Ice Pet. They've got the lockdown on Ame, who no longer has that Aegis. Yes, but he's great, got though. a Dalla. Dazzle ready to go. Dazzle is on it. Y is behind him. Shallow Grave always when he needs it. And Spirit doesn't want to be anywhere near that. No, Ooh. not at all, but Faith Beyond. He's TPing forward. He is really reaching, looking for something. I think he is placing down the vision. They've got the sentries in. Avalanche as well as the toss is going to be on the Sven. Yatro on the run. Pops the BKB. They have the dispose. They go to the God Strength. DQ in trouble, but the Shallow Grave is there once again. Yatro, he's got to make the commitment. He's got to figure out whether or not he wants to go or leave. ZQ burning down, gets killed off by Maposhka. They're going to buy back on the Tiny. They'll look over at Ame. Ame standing his ground, going for the Tier 3. They've got the Treants in. Mira with the dispose. They've stunned him up. They'll unleash. They've got the Shallow Grave once again, and Ame rips through Mira. Ame on the run with the Unstable Concoction charging. But he's got that BKB, so he is a okay. No double damage. Oh, yeah, they have the lucky shot, too, of course. Even more minus armor. They're wrapping all the way in. Too late. It's not going to be in time, so there's an Aegis on Ame once again. And now Spirit need to think are we going to commit for this one? They've got the BKB already popped on collapse. Do they come in from behind? They need to think about their commitment. They've got Faith Beyond who's in the pit. Yatro, he's not sure what he wants to do. Faith Beyond is just going to TP out from the pit. The look over is nothing to say. He's going to pop the BKB. They'll go after the Viper. They'll get the kill and a collapse. And it's hesitancy coming in from Team Spirit, unsure what they wanted to do once that Aegis was picked up. You have to initiate an armor, but he has an Aegis. He has a Dazzle. You have to wrap around behind, which they're trying to do right now with the smoke. If they can kill the Dazzle, there's hope. But look, he's very. Oh, well, Sanders to the left. Oh, Mira just takes so much damage. They've got the toss back. It's not a Toronto Tokyo. There's the Abyssal Bleed to follow it up. They get the kill on the Ember. They bought back on two of these heroes from behind them. Dezo. Is Yatro. They bought back on three, but they've got the Shell Grave. It's going to be on a Y this time. The damage is going to be enough as they've got the stun with the Bashes. Yatro can't survive. Spirit's dreams are melting as LGDs are growing. They'll go for Mira once again. They get the kill on a Maposhka. He's got buyback on this Jakiro, but they're on their last legs. They're really trying to make something happen as they get the kill on another to save. They'll take the Pangolier, they'll also glyph up their base. Three seconds on the unstable concoction, looking for somebody to throw it onto, but it will stun himself. Yachiro sprouted up, and he's not able to engage. Xingqiu going in with the avalanche after the blink. He's trying to get his hands onto the Sven as well as toss him up. They've got the Slight of Fist as well as the Searing Chains coming out from Toronto, Tokyo. But this base is going down. They've only got the mid setter axe holding them from Mega Creeps and LGD. They really don't need to fully commit. They are so far ahead that they can do whatever they please in this game. They can wait for the Elk ult. They don't have to. They have a dispel with the Berserker potion. They're just going in. Amistad has BKB as well. Nothing to be worried about at all. Yeah, Ice Path damage out on the Ame. But again, he's got that Aegis. He won't even need to use it at the moment. They go to the Shallow Grave. Ice Path is there. Toss up into the air. And they will catch themselves a couple. The Remnant over to the side. Toronto Tokyo trying to get a kill on a ZQ. He's moving over, but he's been hexed up. He's on the run. A Remnant away. ZQ taking some damage, but the Rolling Thunder comes out onto the Ember. They'll toss him up into the air. They get the kill on a Toronto Tokyo for 90 seconds. And it's really just last hopes, last ditch efforts here for Team Spirit. They'll move forward once again. They've got the Avalanche. Collapse is going to be disarmed. And all they can do is watch. LGD is taking their base. They've got the Hex once again. And Ame goes in on the Collapse. The Hurricane Pike is going to get him away and let him survive for a moment. But they've got Yatro in their hands, in their grasp, and LGD they're grasping the trophy as they will take the Series 2-0 over Team Spirit and become your champions. Might be the fastest grand final we've ever had, to be honest. What are they, 30, 50 minutes? 45? It was so fast from LGD. I mean, the Series didn't even feel like it lasted an hour. This game only 30 minutes. I believe the last one, Just 34. About.